and welcome back to my channel. Now I have probably the biggest empties I have ever known and it's definitely the biggest empties I've ever had. This whole bag, and it's heavy, I feel like the handles are gonna rip. It's full of empties. Now this is obviously a collective empties but I've been throwing it all in this bag, ready to show you. I'm gonna try to go through it quite quickly just cause there is so much, but I'm gonna let you know my quick thoughts and definitely if I would repurchase the item or not. So let's head straight on in. I'm gonna try to keep it categorized just so it's easier for you guys to watch. If you enjoy empties videos, please give this a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Just make sure you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Let's hop straight on into this ginormous back. Now, just to categorize everything, I've laid it out quickly in kind of rough areas. And just off first off looking, I'm actually shocked about probably how much all these st all this stuff has cost. There is probably easily 700 pounds worth of empties here which is really sickening to think you spend that much money on things but i mean it's all stuff i use but it's crazy first off let's go with shampoo and conditioner because it's right there in front of me i have a l'oreal professional paris silver shampoo this i definitely would use if you were a blonde there's two different ranges there's a silver one and then there's a one that's in like a yellow bottle definitely recommend this it's not cheap you have to buy it from a salon or from online like beauty bay or um feel unique i think do it in things i definitely would repurchase this i wouldn't use it to shampoo every day but perhaps once a week once two every two weeks it just helps bring out that blonde in your hair makes it fresh again because blonde can go really dull really quickly i obviously love l'oreal shampoo and conditioner this range this is the extra extra i can't speak extraordinary oil range one's a fine coconut oil one's enriched these are just really riching and i have very dry hair towards the end i wash every day so it just gets dry so occasionally i like to mix it up with some of these just to give it a little bit of moisture i tend to buy these when they're on offer so yeah, I would repurchase these and I actually did repurchase them the other day. Yeah, I definitely would buy these again. Now, if you've seen my recent collective haul, you'll also see I love bed head shampoos and conditioners. Again, like I said, I wash my hair every day because I go to the gym, not out of choice, just because I have to. And these are great. They're 9 99 I can pop them on the side. They often come with pumps and they're just really, really easy to use. I think they're a bargain and I really, really enjoy these. I've just recently repurchased these, so this is something I will continue to repurchase. Another favorite brand of mine is the Macadamia Oil. Now, I love their mask, which I, I've just repurchased. This was their shampoo, which I thought I'd give a go. Now, I wasn't a big fan of it. I felt like it stripped my hair. It is no added sulfate, it's paraben free. But to be honest, I don't think I would repurchase this. I love the Macadamia brand in general. I wasn't too fussed about their shampoo. So I don't think I would be repurchasing this anytime soon. On to fake tan. So as you can tell, I obviously love Saint Tropez. I've gone through four of these. These are the self-tan dark. What can I say? I love Saint Tropez. I do think it is a really good mousse. I generally buy them when they're on three for two because I will use them and I will go through them, clearly. I definitely will be repurchasing these. Another brand of self-tan that I love is the Fake Bake. This is a five minute mousse. I've gone through two of these. Again, I generally buy them when they're on three for two or there's some kind of offer on because I will go through them. This is the best fake tan I feel to be able to put on your skin. Give it five, 10 minutes, literally, like it says, five minutes and leave the house and go out. This is the only self-tan I feel like I'll put on before a night out and not have to wash off. The Sandra Pay I'd have to put on the night before and then wash off in the shower. I couldn't put that on and go straight out. This tan, I feel it's subtle enough that I could just put on. Will make a difference still, but I can go straight out. So that's why I love this one as well. And I use them in conjunction with each other, depending on my tanning needs for that day. Antiperspirant deodorants. I generally stick to Dove and Garnier. I have actually repurchased both of these just the other day in Sainsbury's because I needed some. I like to have one in my on my desk, in my desk drawer. I like to have one in my gym bag. I like to have a mini one in my handbag. I just like to have them on the go. I definitely will repurchase both of these. What can I say? It's deodorant, but the Dove one I do really, really like. And the Garnier ones, I like that it has the little clip. So it's not gonna go up in your bag without you knowing. Dry shampoo. So I have finished a small dry shampoo, the floral one, and then these two are the volumizing ones. Now I don't really use these as actually dry shampoos. I normally use these as a volumizing spray because they do work really, really well for a nice hat if you want to get a bit of 
root lift and things. This one I think actually is just a volumizing spray. It isn't meant to be a dry shampoo, but whenever these are on offer, I'll pick a few of these up because they're not cheap anymore. They're about five, six, seven pounds, I think, a bottle. I always get them when they're on offer. I will continue to purchase these for the foreseeable future. On to shower gels. I finished up a massive snow fairy. This is one of my favorite shower gels. It's from Lush. I love it. I definitely would repurchase it again. I didn't buy any this year just because I had so many Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works shower gels to get through. But next Christmas, I definitely will get some of this again and stock up. No shots. I can't speak. I also love original source shower gels. Again, because I shower so often, I have to have lots of shower gel. I generally get the original source one on offer for a pound. These ones have been the lime and coconut milk, the hibiscus and pomegranate, vanilla and raspberry, and the mango. I don't really like the scrub ones they do because I don't really think that that's scrubby. What I want to scrub, I want to scrub. And they're not that scrubby. But their shower gels themselves, I do really, really love. So I will continue to purchase these. Now, cleansers. I absolutely love Clean and Clear range. If you couldn't tell, I go through lots of these. Again, I generally buy them when they're on three for two. This one is the one that comes in a blue bottle. So it's deep cleansing for sensitive skin. I love this and would continue to repurchase this, no doubt. However, when I was in Florida in September, I picked up this one. And now it actually is, when it's in there, it's in like a red liquid. And I loved it. It's really strong. And it says deep cleansing astringent. And it definitely is when you put it on your skin it stings and now i know there's different thoughts that, that should or shouldn't happen it's not a bad sting trust me i can tell a difference when it's like a bad sting but it feels like a good skin it feels like a good sting like it's doing something good to my skin i went through one of these and then when i went to vegas at the year i did buy another one so i have got another one so i definitely will continue to get these in the states when i'm over there because we don't sell it here but if i ever did run out and hadn't got any replacements i would happily use this one same brand again i just feel like this is stronger this is like the daddy of mcdaddy bad boys of cleansers it, it yeah it's really good now another brand i generally flip between for cleanses is garnier micellar water i have this on the go as well in conjunction with my clean and clear i generally like to mix it up i will generally use the micellar water more around my eye area i'll probably go in using this first taking off most of my makeup and then use the clean and clear afterwards to really kind of deep penetrate the pores. But I love Garnier and I love the micellar water and I will still continue to purchase this. This has always been a cult fave here on YouTube within the beauty community. And it's the Bioderma Makeup Removing Micelle Solution. This is great. I do love this. However, it is expensive. I believe this size bottle is about £9.99, £10. I have repurchased the bigger one just because it's better value for money to buy the bigger one. And I am using it, but I do kind of use it sporadically just because it is so expensive and i can't warrant spending 10 pounds every month on a cleanser but it is really really good i have repurchased it i will repurchase it it's kind of like my treat cleanser this is so weird isn't it how girls think like this it, does anyone else think like this or am i just the only weirdo that thinks like different cleansers for different times like that is just really stupid isn't it i'm just yeah, crack. And then this cleanser is the Garnier Express 2-in-1 Eye Makeup Remover. I have repurchased this. I generally use this if I've got a lot of heavy eye makeup on and I don't want to be like rubbing and tugging at my eyes because obviously that is a sensitive area. And as I get older, I want to keep him looking young and fresh and wrinkle free. I have repurchased this. It's just an eye makeup remover and I feel like it dissolves the eye makeup really well and gently. And then I can go in my other cleansers afterwards. Now, face cleansers, like as in face washes. I love Neutrogena. These are all Neutrogena. I kind of literally go between Neutrogena and Clean and Clear. They're, they're my go-tos, really. Now, this is a Neutrogena 2-in-1. I've chopped it open because I like to get every last little bit out of it. 2-in-1 Visibly Clear is my favourite cleanser of all times. I love it and I couldn't recommend it enough. I then also have the Visibly Clear Pink Grapefruit Daily Scrub. Now, this isn't the scrubbiest of scrubs. If I was going to use a real scrub scrub, I'd use the St. Ives F apricot, apricot scrub. This is kind of like a medium sized scrub. So it's not a cleanser. It's not an apricot facial scrub. It kind of sits in the middle as like a mid scrub. Again, does anyone else's brain work like this? Or am I the only crackers one? This is a mid scrub for the days when you want a bit of exfoliation, but not St. Ives scrub scrub. 
I would repurchase this. I'm in no rush to get it, but I definitely would repurchase it and I can smell it now. And it does smell really, really nice. Now this was the Neutrogena Complexion Scrub. You can't see it because I've chopped it open and I can't find the lid part. I must have thrown it away. I bought this when the two in one mask cleanser one had sold out. So I bought this as a replacement. I'm not gonna rebuy it. It just doesn't live up to the two in one face mask at all. With the complexion scrub, it just, it wasn't as good. So I won't really be repurchasing this. If my two in one is sold out again, I would just have to hold out till the two in one comes back in stock because this just didn't, didn't match up to my two in one. Now this is what's left of the Bior Deep Pore Charcoal Cleanser. I do like Bior as a brand. It's not the cheapest brand. They do like nose strips and things like that, that's what they're quite famous for. This was their Deep Pore Charcoal Cleanser. I've bought this a couple of times. I would rebuy it again, but quite similar to the Grape fruit but quite similar to the grapefruit scrub i'm in no rush to go and buy it but i would recommend it it is a good cleanser it doesn't live up to my neutrogena two-in-one cleanser shave gel i've gone through the gillette satin care is it just me or is the women's shave gel section really boring and like limited there's only for like two styles and they're always really expensive i always try to get them on an offer because otherwise it's just it's like four pounds for one shave gel bottle and you'll go through so much if you go to the men's section, shaving gel is like half the price of women's. I don't get why theirs is cheaper than ours when, I don't know. We have to shave just as much as they do most of the time. But anyway, I've gone through a satin care and yeah, I would buy it because let's face it, there's not a whole lot of choice for women when it comes to shave gel. I've gone through a pack of the Boots Essentials Moisturising for Dry Skin Cleansing Wipes. Yeah. That's cleansing wipe. They're cheap as chips. They're about a pound packet. I would repurchase these. I think it's always good to have a pack of wipes on the go to hand to, you know, fill up makeup messes or cleanse your hands between doing your makeup. I just always have these on the go. I generally tend to kind of use them as, as more as baby wipes, but yeah, I would repurchase. Now, perfume. I have a humongous perfume collection and I've really been trying to make a conscious effort to get through my perfume collection. So I finished a Victor and Ralph Flower Bomb perfume, which I've had for a while a tiny teeny bit left in the bottom but I don't think the spray oh there is it we'll get it oh, we'll pick it up mmm smells so good that's done and then I've also finished up a Mark Daisy dot perfume again which is also finished and I'm yeah I'm just trying to make a real conscious effort to get one perfume stick to it use it up and then we can get rid because I need to get through some of my collection because I don't want like 20 different bottles all on the go at once it's just too much so I'm trying to pick one use it every day, just get through it, and then get gone of it. I'm not trying to waste it or use it up in that sense, but just trying to pick one that I can stick to and really kind of work on getting through. I've obviously been lacking in the body moisturizing department because I seem to have only gone through one Victoria's Secret Love Spell hydrating body lotion. So I've clearly been lacking in that sense. I love Victoria's Secret. I love their body range, their body sprays, their moisturizing things. They smell incredible. So I would definitely would repurchase this. Now coming on to teeth, if you didn't know, I have Invisalign in, which is probably why my speech might sound a little bit different, but I have got it in. So I'm having to make sure I take extra, extra good care of my teeth whilst I'm going through the Invisalign brace. If you didn't know, Invisalign is a clear brace. Just doing some slight tweaks and movement to my teeth teeth my little teeth <laughs> to get them all perfectly straight i've gone through an oral b 3d white looks glamorous shine toothpaste to be honest i've had a prescription one now which is higher fluoride or something i don't know what it means but my dentist said to use it i wouldn't repurchase this one i just think there's better toothpastes and i've actually kind of switched over to sensodyne now because i'm having a little bit of sensitivity issues so i think i'll stick with sensodyne for now so this i wouldn't repurchase this one i've also finished up a little listerine total care mouthwash this was in the like three for two travel section in boots and yeah i grabbed this one to be honest i'm probably going to keep this bottle and fill it up with some more listerine out of a big bottle and just keep it in my handbag and keep it from the go because like i said with the brace i'm having to make sure i'm keeping extra on top of my hygiene dental mouth care whatever we want to call it so this would be great just to refill and pop in my handbag with me taking so many trips to the states i've been bringing back lots of bath and body works i've gone through some of their hand sanitizers we've got warm vanilla sugar and champagne sparkle i've been taking these into the gym with me over the christmas period and the cold winter period just because everyone's sick including me i was really sick at one point so everything so every single time i finished on a machine i put some of this on so whether it was free weights or the machine or the cross trainer every time i finished i put some of this on so 
whenever I was touching something new, I'd sanitize my hands. Just to try to limit me getting ill from somebody else and me spreading my illness to somebody else as well over the Christmas period. But I think it's something I will continue to take into the gym with me, just to have on hand. They have hand sanitizers in the gym, but they're, they're really like, cheap ones that are really kind of strong and nasty and they're always like near the exits of the far they're just not with you so i think it's just nice to have one with you on the go coming now on to skincare i love keels as a skincare brand i've actually finished up two of their midnight recovery concentrates i mean that alone freaks me out these are like how much are these 40 pound each there's 80 pound alone what is this but yeah i don't know I've repurchased it already because I love it. It's a nice oil, I love the smell, it's perfect for the bedtime. I'm in my mid 20s now, so I have to make sure I'm putting time and effort and money into a good healthcare routine for nighttime. And this will continue to be a part of it for the foreseeable future. So I will be repurchasing this. I have repurchased this. And if you're on the lookout for a nighttime oil, I suggest getting a sample and giving it a go. Hand in hand with that, I've finished the Super Multi Corrective Cream from Kiehl's. This is their night cream, and I definitely would repurchase this again. Part of the same little family, I have the Midnight Recovery Eye Cream from Kiehl's. I've chopped it off to get every last little bit out of it as, you, as well. Does anyone else do that? Because honestly, you should. There's so much more product left in there. And when you're paying these kind of prices, you want as much out of it as you can. This is the night cream. This is the night eye cream. I dab a little bit around here and I've already repurchased this and I, yeah, I would repurchase it again. I've also finished up the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Intense Night Cream. I wanted to give this a go just to try something different than the Kiehl's one. It was nice, but to be honest, I do prefer the Kiehl's one, so I will continue to buy the Kiehl's one and I think I'll give the Bobbi Brown one a miss. Now, coming on to makeup. I've finished an Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray. I think most of you guys will probably have heard about this or tried it. I have already purchased it and I will be buying it again when it runs out. I've, I've finished up two MAC Prep and Prime primers. To be honest, I won't be repurchasing these. I've kind of switched over to Smashbox, Prim Smashbox primers now and I much prefer those. So I won't be repurchasing these. However, I will be collecting my MAC empties for back to MAC to get on my free lipstick. If you didn't know, I think it's six, it's five or six, I'm sure it's six now. Six MAC, empty MAC products you can take back in exchange for a lipstick. So I'll be saving these until I've got six of those. I finished up some Bobbi Brown concealers. I use the shade Beige and this one was one that had the powder in with it. This one was one of the old style ones that had the powder in with the concealer. And then this was just the normal concealer on its own. I do really, really like these concealers. To be honest, I probably won't be repurchasing them anytime soon because I've kind of moved on to a MAC one that I like now. So I'm not saying I won't ever again, but for the foreseeable future, I'm kind of giving the Bobbi Brown a miss and I'm gonna stick with the MAC concealer that I've been using. Now I've finished up lots of concealer, highlighter concealers for under the eyes. I have two of the L'Oreal Lumi Magic, Magic in Light. I finished these, to be honest, it was okay, I'm not rushing to repurchase them. I finished up these two Maybelline Dreamy Lumi Touch concealers in 01 Ivory. I know I actually have three more of these upstairs on my dresser that are finished. So I've gone through like five of these. I probably would rather repurchase these ones over the L'Oreal one. I don't know why, I just seem to like this one better. But either or, depending on which one's an offer, I suppose, I'd get these again. But I definitely am wanting to repurchase this one for the under eye concealer. I finished up my Naked Skin Urban Decay concealer. This was in Fair Neutral. Now I would repurchase this again.